The names of Muhammad Ali and Mike Tyson will forever be etched in golden letters in the history of heavyweight boxing. Former world heavyweight champion Mike Tyson is one of the most eccentric boxers in the history of the sport. Muhammad Ali transcended the sport entirely, impacting billions of people throughout the globe across several generations. That's why he was the greatest, not just because of his fistic wizardry in the ring, but because of the man he was outside of it. There is a story that not many are aware of, in which Mike Tyson, in a way, avenged the infamous loss Muhammad Ali suffered at the hands of Larry Holmes in his second last fight. As a 14-year-old boy, Tyson with his mentor, Cus D'Amato, watch on TV how Muhammad Ali faced Larry Holmes at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas on October 2, 1980. The greatest survived until the 10th round but was eventually pulled out by his trainer Angelo Dundee who didn't want to see him take further punishment. Even though Tyson had the chance to talk to his hero, one of the greatest sports stars in history, he still had just one thing on his mind, vengeance. After defeating Trevor Burbick to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history, Tyson Mania began to grip the world. There was a new challenge, Larry Holmes, who was champion for seven and a half years. In an event billed as heavyweight history, 38-year-old Holmes was tempted out of retirement by a $3 million offer from Don King to face the ferocious Tyson. I'm going down to history, not Mike Tyson. He go down to history as an SOB. Muhammad Ali was invited to the bout to watch at ringside, parading in front of the crowd before the first bell to lap up the adulation before turning stony-faced and whispering something in Tyson's ear. Holmes had an excellent strategy for going into the fight. He tried to stay at a distance and used his height advantage to land jabs on Tyson. Despite his brazen claims, Holmes had difficulty keeping up with the younger, faster and stronger Tyson.
Well, we talked about the fact that Holmes one day said he would jab. He cannot afford to do that. In the fourth round, Holmes was floored by Tyson two times before a final right hook sealed the deal, giving Mike Tyson his 33rd win. Kevin Rooney was telling me to get close enough for I could land the right hand, and I saw it open and I did. I knew once I got him hurt, he was finished. And still, the undisputed, undefeated,